Hello students, welcome to Shoud Upsir classes. In this video, we will discuss some theorems and formula for cracking the number theory questions. This video is basically the continuation of our previous video on the theorems and formula of number theory. In our previous video, we have discussed the theorems of divisibility and the theorems of prime number and composite number. So, we have already discussed divisibility and prime and composite number. So, we will start from the fundamental theory of arithmetic today. This portion we have already covered divisibility and prime and composite number. So, now in, the, in today's video, we will start from fundamental theorem of arithmetic. This theorem says that every positive integer can be uniquely represented as a product of prime numbers. So, if you take any integer, any positive integer, you can break the integer or you can factorize the integer in terms of prime factor, in terms of multiplication of prime factors or prime numbers. So, if a number is n, we can express the number as a as of the product of prime numbers. So, let us p1 be one prime number. So, it, it could be p1 to the power e1, p2 be another prime number p2 to the power e2, p3 be another prime number, it is p3 to the power e3. So, we can express any, com, any, any integer, any positive integer in the form of product of prime numbers. So, this is our prime numbers, this can continue up to pn to the power en. So, these p1, p2 are prime numbers. I will give you an example this will ease my work and so for better understanding let's see the n is equals to 1800 so you can factorize eight, the number 1800 in terms of prime numbers so we can write 1800 equals to 2 to the power 3 that is 8 into 3 to the power 2 that is 9 8 into 9 72 and into 5 square. So, 72 into 25 is equals to 1800. So, this is our form. This is the p1 to the power u1 into p2 to the power e2 into p3 to the power e3 form where 2, 3 and 5 are the prime numbers and these are the powers of the prime numbers. 3, 2 and 2. Now, coming to the next, next set of formula how to find total number of factors or total number of divisor of any number. So, the, our formula of prime factorization of any number was p1 to the power n equals to p1 to the power e1, p2 to the power e2, p3 to the power e3, dot dot. So, the total number of factors will be, total number of factors of n will be e1, plus 1 that is power of the first prime number plus 1 into power of the second prime number plus 1 into power of the third prime number plus 1 into dot dot same in the same way it will be power of the fourth prime number plus 1 power of the fifth prime number plus 1 and in this way we can find the number of factors of 1800 as well what the example we have taken before earlier 1800 was equals to 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 square so the number of factors number of factors of 1800 will be equals to already you know from our formula it will be equals to 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1. So, this is 4 into 3 into 3. 4 into 3 into 3 that is 36. So, total number of factors of 1800 is 36 and this number 36 includes both unity and the number itself. That means in 
in these 36 factors of 1800, 1 and 1800 is also included. 1 and 1800 also included. Coming to the next set of formula. Now we will learn how to find the number of ways a number can be resolved into two factors. So the number of ways in which a number can be resolved into two factors. So it will be if if n equals to if we can express n as p1 to the power e1 into p2 to the power e2 into p3 to the power e3 dot dot. So the number of ways the number n can be resolved into two factors will be equals to half of e1 plus 1 into e2 plus 1 into e3 plus 1 into dot dot. So this is our formula half into e1 plus 1 into e2 plus 1 into e3 plus 1 plus dot dot. This is just similar with our previous formula of number of factors but this is half of the number of factors. So the number of ways any number can be resolved into two factors is half of its number of factors actually. But there is an also an exception if the number is perfect square if the number if n is if the number which is here n is perfect square so there will be a slight change in our formula then it will become half into e1 plus 1 into e2 plus 1 into e3 plus 1 dot dot plus 1. This is the change. So, the product of e1 plus 1, e2 plus 1, e3 plus 1 will, will be added with 1. So, this is the formula for finding the number of ways a perfect square can be resolved into two factors. This is our two formula. This is the exceptional formula only made for perfect square and this is the generalized formula for all the numbers. In our previous set of formula we have learned how to find the number of ways a number can be resolved into two factors and in this, for, in this formula we will learn how to find the number of ways in which a number can be factorized or can be resolved into two co-prime factors or two co-prime numbers. Co-prime number mean, means the numbers, two numbers which are prime to each other. So the number of ways in which a number n can be resolved into two co-prime factors will be equals to 2 to the power n minus 1. This is the formula. 2 to the power n minus 1. Here n is equals to number of unique prime numbers while factorizing the number n while factorizing n. So as of our example of 1800, 1800 was equals to 2 cube into 3 square into 5 square let me change the color. So here you can see in the factorization of 1800 there were three different prime numbers. Three different prime numbers. Two, three and five. So in this case the value of n will be three. So the number of co-prime factors, number of ways in which the number 1800 can be resolved into two co-prime factors will be equals to two to the power 3 minus 1 or 2 to the power 2 which is equals to 4. Now the last set of formula for this video how to find the sum of all the factors of a number. So in our previous set of formulas we have learned how to find the number of factors and also we have found that how to find the number of 
number of ways in which a number can be factorized and also we have found that how to get the number of ways in which a number can be factorized in two co-prime numbers and now we will learn how to get the sum of all the factors of n or all the factors of any number. So again our n or any number we can express it in the form of unique prime numbers that is p1 to the power e1, p2 to the power e2, p3 to the power e3. This was our expression of n and dot dot. So from this expression we will get the sum of all the factors of n as well. So the sum of all the factors will be equals to p1 to the power e1 plus 1 divided by p1 minus 1. Similarly into p2 to the power e2 plus 1 sorry here, here minus 1 e2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by p2 minus 1. Similarly p3 to the power e3 plus 1 minus 1 divided by p3 minus 1 and dot dot so on. Let me change the color. So if this is our formula of summation of all the factors, let us check the summation of all the factors for the number 1800. So the 1800 we have expressed in the form of 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2. So here the summation of all the factors of 1800 will be equals to 2 to the power 3 plus 1 that is 4 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 into 3 to the power 3 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 into 5 that is p3 to the power e3 plus 1 that is 3 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. So this will be equals to 16 minus 1 that is 15 divided by 1 into 27 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 26 divided by 2 that is equals to 13 and into 125 minus 1 that is equals to 124 divided by 4 124 divided by 4 that is equals to 31. which is equals to 6045. So in this way we can find the sum of all the factors of any number. Thank you. This was all for today's video. If you have any doubt or any queries you can feel free to call us in this number 9836 or you can send us email also at showrapsir classes at the rate gmail .com. Thank you.